Hey there, everybody. I am a maladaptive daydreamer. Well, what is a maladaptive daydreamer? Uh, well, I knew something was wrong. Now, basically, I got a crazy fantasy world that I'm living in all the time. I can't stop pretending, essentially. Um, I've got all kinds of worlds and stuff in my head. And... Um, oh, boy. Boy, if that doesn't make me sound crazy... <laughs> I don't care because the people in my world don't think I'm crazy. Um, I will say this. It was in Wikipedia, so you know it's legit. Um, I, some medical experts, are, like, they're not convinced this is a thing. Some are like, yeah, this is what it is. Other experts are like, I don't know. I don't know if this is it's an actual disorder of sorts. Um you know, some of them are like, maybe the person's just really, really immature. That's a that's a, a definite medical diagnosis. Um, <laughs> that's definitely my problem. It makes sense. Uh, it started when I was young. It started when I was a, a youngster. I uh, grew up on a, a little farm. Uh, nobody really around us. And my, my brothers and sisters wouldn't really play with me. Uh, they g gave me a complex. Um but no, they wouldn't really play with me. So I would just play on my own. And I just made up. I, I love to pretend. I'd go off into the into the bush and make up a story for the day. And, and that was just what I did. My dad, one of my dad's favorite stories to tell is we used to have this little uh, rink behind the house. It wasn't a rink. It was just a slough, uh, a pond, for those who don't know what a slough is. Uh, and it was shaped like a rink, though. So I just would shovel it off and played hockey all winter long. And my dad came down uh, to check on me one time, and I was sitting in the snowbank. I was kind of sitting there, and he was like, what's... He loves to tell the story. Oh, he loves telling the story. He's like, what's uh, what's going on? What are you doing? And I, I was like, oh, I'm playing hockey. And he's like, well, why are you, why are you sitting... Uh, why are you sitting in the snowbank? And I was like, oh, uh, I got a penalty. Because I was... I mean, he laughs about it. He tells everybody the story. Oh, he thought he was in the penalty box. Right, and I'm like, yeah, well, I was. It was a really important game, and uh, you know, we were shorthanded in that whole time, and I was waiting to jump back on the ice and get the equalizing goal to get us to the playoffs. I mean, it was a pretty. I don't think this is funny. Crazy, you know that? Yeah, you know that. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, but that's how it started. It just started young, and and as I got older, I just I couldn't stop. I remember one of my teachers humiliating me because. I was making this comic book with my other, my buddy. This is in like seventh grade or sixth or seventh grade. And uh, he found out, he found this thing and he's like, Whoa, what is this? And he was, and so, uh, oh, we were just pretending we're superheroes. This is a, a comic book. And he's like, you know better. <laughs> I know better than to use my imagination. I don't, I don't understand what this is. It wasn't because I was doing it in school hours. I'm sure it was just because he was a jerk. You know better. <laughs> But uh, I got, I even got up into like high school and I'm like, I got to stop pretending this is getting out of control. Like, and I would, and I'd stop for a period of time and I'd always found myself like just brought right back into the world. And, and it's, here's the thing. Like when I played hockey, I wasn't just playing hockey or I wasn't like, I'm the Leafs and you guys are the Canucks or whatever. It, for me, it was like, no, 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 no. I'm in a league uh, and the league has to have its own uh, basically the team has to have its own league the league has to be in its own country country has to be in its own world that's how I did everything so I would always if I was playing hockey I wasn't just playing hockey if I was shooting hoops I wasn't just shooting hoops I was pretending to in some kind of world um, and I did that with everything not just sports um, so then I I by the time I got to, I never told anybody this. Like some of my friends, I, I stopped telling them when they grew up and <laughs> stopped pretending. I was like, oh yeah, of course. Of course we stopped pretending. I really do respect what you're trying to do here. Right? Um, some people pace around, like if you, I was reading in the Wikipedia page there, and some people like, they pay, just pace around and live in their world and it affects their work and stuff like that. And, uh, I bet you it affects my work too, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I bet you, I bet you it's affected things uh, when I want to procrastinate or something. I'll just spend a little more time in the old play world.
I kind of feel bad for him. Sometimes to get things done, I stick it in the context of a play world, which allows me to, to finish up. I know that sounds weird, but I don't have time to explain all that. So anyways, I got married, and uh, I was hoping that that would kind of fix the problem. Uh, nope, it doesn't. Uh, by the way, anytime, anytime, this is just a kind of a good general rule. Anytime you think, oh, I've got some problems. After I get married, that'll fix that problem. Uh, doesn't happen. It, you, you're the same person going in as, as when you're married. Are you the marriage guidance counselor? In fact, you're the same person uh, going in uh, as, as the same person that's married. The only difference is uh, you don't have a place to put your shoes anymore. Answer it. I wrote, I wrote like three things for that because <laughs> I thought it was funny. I don't know. This is now it's not hitting and I feel stupid, but I'm pretending that it's going well. So forget that. Um, you're not the same person going in. You're the, you're the same person going in as you are married, except now you have less closet space. Nope. Okay. You're the same person going in as, as the person is married, except now you have to pretend to love horrible television. Uh, terrible television shows? Rom-coms? I don't know. Uh, there's a joke in there. You did not find it. Uh, it can be stressful, though. Like, it's, it, it was kind of... I, I sometimes use it as a stress reliever, but sometimes it brings more stress. Um, and that's usually because real-world things kind of collide with it. And <laughs> you think I'm crazy now, don't you? Well, I, I possibly am. Just bear with me. I'm sharing, okay? So don't be judgy. Uh, I'll give you an example of when stressful. I, I have, as an adult, been playing basketball, and I just don't like going and shooting hoops by myself. Just sitting there and just shooting and then dunking a bunch because I like to do that. Um, even in my 40s, late 40s. I'm going to be 50. I'm going to be 50 and throwing down. Just like Dr. J. Because sometimes I'm playing, I'm, I'm actually having a game. Like, like that, then it's fun. If I'm just there just shooting, it's like this is not giving me enough. But if I'm running up and down the court and I'm playing a game in my head, it's way more exciting and I can do it for hours. And then some kid will come along. Can I play? What? Oh, where did you come from? Uh, what, did you play? What are you talking about? Where the, this is game seven. We're, this is there's two minutes left. We're still down by six points. Why are you bothering me? I don't understand. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh. <laughs> How did they even let you into the arena? How did you get inside the arena? Why are you letting this kid walk out? Um, yeah. And by the way, I know the difference. Uh, it's not like I'm, I'm that like what? What is this kid doing in my daydream? This doesn't make any sense. I know the difference between play world, pretend world, and real life because. Uh, one, uh, I'm, I'm very successful, and the other, I'm a loser. So that's how I know. Aww. Oh, we're in real world again, because I'm failing miserably. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, but I will say, like, you know, here's the thing. Life can always be better. That's the problem. That's the problem with pretend world, is that anything in real world... I know, well, it can always be better than that. You know what I don't like when people say that saying, uh, well, it could be worse. Could be worse. It's the stupidest thing ever. And I'll tell you why. Um, it can always be worse. There's always, people are like, well, I, can't, I mean, what do you mean it can't always be worse? Yes, it can always be worse. What if a guy lost everything? And he lost everything, his family, like Job. Let's say Job, book of Job. He lost everything. His kids died. He got sick. He lost his wife. He lost, he lost everything. Yeah. And he could have had more. So then it would be worse, wouldn't it? It actually makes sense. I'm just saying, it can always be worse. That's why I hate that saying. And with the maladaptive daydreaming, uh, it can always be better. That's the problem. It's, uh, it's addictive. It, you know what the problem is with any kind of addiction that, that you make up yourself? Uh, you're competing against your own brain. Like your brain is sending you the endorphins that are like, hey, I'm enjoying myself. And then it's like, oh, okay, I'll just give myself more of that. It's, it's, it's like a drug, but from your own brain. I, that sounds so twisted. That might all be true. I thought I was going to feel better. They say confessing, 
like a secret because this is kind of I, I, my wife knows I told her early on and she, and she didn't leave so that's a good sign but I haven't told many people this so to confess it you know they say oh you, do you feel better now when you confess so if you're asking me now do you feel do I Leland do you feel better after after getting this off your chest you're telling the world uh, uh, no nope nope I feel a lot of shame in fact but um, I'll just pretend I feel good. It's worked so far. <laughs> Subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, get notifications. Um, I'm going to pretend you do anyway, whether you do or you don't.